Number 39. Sketch the electric field between the two conducting plates shown in figure 18.5, given the top plate is positive and an equal amount of negative charge is on the bottom plate. Be sure to indicate the distribution of charge on the plates. All right, so basically the top plate they said is positive. Now if the top plate is positive, right, and we're going to have some positive charges, we have an excess of positive charge. Let's draw in one, two, three, four, five, let's say six. Are they going to be all aggregated together or are they going to kind of separate as far apart as possible? Well, they're probably going to separate as far apart as possible, right? Because likes repel. All right, so we're going to look to maximize the distances between each of those uh, positive charges. All right. Similarly, on uh, the bottom, right, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six negative charges. We're going to have equal uh, amount, and they're going to be, again, equally separated. So now, remember, electric field lines always emanate uh, from a positive object uh, to a negative object. Now, and remember, the electric field lines at the surface of the object are always perpendicular to the surface. So meaning if the surface of this object is going to be in that plane, the electric field line will begin perpendicular, all right, to that point. Same thing when the electric field line uh, is kind of, we can think about it as being like, I don't know, why isn't it, come on, okay, it's not going to give it to me. Great. Um, so we can think about this, uh, you know what I'll do? Let's do this. Resize. Ha, now we gotcha. All right, so that'll be that, right? So when the electric field lines enter the negative plate, they have to be perpendicular to that surface, okay? So now we have our, our task is to, we have to draw the line coming out of the top plate, perpendicular, and then we have to draw the line coming into the bottom plate as perpendicular. So how do you think we can connect these? Uh, it's not gonna do it for me. Great. That's close enough. How do you think we can connect these now? Well, we're not. We're going to connect them with a smooth curve, right? So basically, it's going to come out and then curve like this. Okay. Same thing here. Come out and then cur well, come out and then curve on downward, right? Come out and then curve on downward. So they're all perpendicular to the surface, and this is basically how it's going to look, more or less. Cool. All right, guys. Hopefully that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care.